Hi again. Let's continue our discussion of making a calculator here. And in the last video, we set up our calculator in Xcode, and we used the you know the the default button and set some states for the button, the background color, and font size, and whatnot. And previously, we used auto layout to arrange the buttons on the screen and set the size and whatnot. And and that works pretty good, but uh, what I want to do sometimes, or you know, it's going to happen with a lot of people, is they'll want to customize the buttons so they have a different art rather than just the default kind of background fill color and font, right? So here's what I have um, to use for art. And I've got a couple pieces here. I've got this button right here, which is 62 by 62, and it's sort of a, you know, just generic kind of pixel art button. And then I have another button, which is the same button at twice the size, okay? So this is going to be my retina art version of my button, okay? And the, really, these should just be the same art, but twice as big. So this one's 62 by 62, and this is um, 124 by 124, right? So that's exactly twice the size. On the retina art, just to prove that it's working or show that it's, it's you know, actually doing what it should do, um, I put this little times two in the corner. So we'll see that artwork show up sometimes, okay? Depends on the phone, right? So our phones, when they're retina phones, they should be using this artwork because it's twice the resolution. <clears throat> and for non-retina phones, it should be using this artwork without the 2x on it, okay? And then I have a down state for the button too. So this is my down state here. And again, I have the at 2x, you know, these are the same exact dimensions as the other button, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to use the slicing feature so we can cut these buttons up into slices and that way they'll scale or size themselves to fit any, you know, any size, okay? So, uh, so here's my artwork here and I want to import that into my Xcode project. So I'll go to Xcode and this is where we left off last time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my artwork here. And I just move this window in front of the Xcode project and I'll select the, the images and I'll drag them into my Xcode project over here. And then I'll let go and it says choose options for adding these images. And I want to make sure that I check copy items if needed. And what this is going to do is it's going to leave the original art <coughs> in my folder and then create copies of those files in the Xcode project folder and reference them to this project, okay? And then I also want to make sure I choose add to targets. So um, this add to targets for calculator number two is going to add these images to the, the app that, that this project will create, right? So they'll get included with that app. So it's important that this one's checked also, okay? Um, I'll click finish. And then there's my buttons. And then if you want, you can select the buttons here maybe. And uh, I'm going to control click on them and choose, you know, new group from selection. And I'll maybe I'll call that art. And then that way the, the art goes in the art folder here. Okay. And there's my, my images. And you can see here there's the original one. And then here's the um, that 2x version. And there's the original and the 2x version, right? Okay. So I can see my artists correct there. So let's go back to, um, let's go to this, this folder here and this thing, it says images XC assets. Okay, so I'll, I'll click on that. And what I want to do is I want to create a new Xcode asset. Okay, and I, I think what happens with this is that Xcode grabs all the art for the buttons here and kind of reformats it. It actually combines it all together into an image sheet, like one image that has all of these images combined. And that's more efficient for the computer to, to understand. And the computer can also, you know, just cut out little sections of that larger image to get the smaller pieces of it, okay? Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to click on the Images XC Assets folder here. It's a special folder, right? And what I'll do is I'll click the plus button down here in the bottom. Add image or image set or add a, add a group or image set. So um, since my images are in the folder here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose import from project because the images are in the project. So I'll choose that. And then it, you'll see it lists all the images in the art folder, and that's fine. Um, that's what I want. 
Maybe you don't want to combine all your images in this, so you might uncheck if you don't know, uncheck the boxes for the images that you don't want to be a part of this uh, image XC assets, right? But I want everybody, so I'll leave them checked and I'll click import. Okay, and then it says, hey, you know, do you want to use version control because this operation you you can't undo? So they're you know they're kind of saying like, hey, since we can't undo, why don't we make a take a snapshot with our version control here? I'm going to say, yes, yeah, sure, do that, though it's not a big deal. And then you'll notice the images are actually removed from the art folder. They're gone. But remember, I copied to this folder, so I have the original somewhere, okay? And then they're combined into this folder here, and you can see I have a little you know button down and a button up, and there's two versions, the 1X and the 2X. And if I wanted to support the iPhone 6 Plus, then I should have a 3X, right? But uh, I just have these two for now. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to show slicing. And I want to slice these buttons up so they can be resized to any size. So down in the lower right here, the rightish corner, it says show slicing. And I'll click that option. And then you can see here's my buttons right there. And what I want to do is I want to start slicing. So I'll click on them. And the little arrows determine how the slicing is going to work. So this is, you know, slice horizontally slice horizontally and vertically, slice only vertically, right? So I want to slice on both. And it puts these lines in here. This is where the computer's going to slice these, and that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe I want to bring this down just a tiny smidgen, you know, or, you know, something like that, right? You know, and you could adjust this however you like. Um, but, you know, just to save some time, I'll, I'll leave it at the default. And what I want to do is I want to slice up the rest of these. So I'll, you know, click Start Slicing, and let's slice on the horizontal and the vertical. And then let's start slicing horizontal, vertical. Right, and there we go. And you can, um, and you can edit the slicing here in the, um, the Property Inspector, too. So you can, you know, numerically determine where the the buttons get sliced. I kind of Xcode usually does a pretty good job um, of doing the slices, so I'll leave it. I'll leave it to what it did, right? Okay. So now that I've got my my buttons sliced up, what I want to do is I want to use those buttons in my project. So I'll switch back to Storyboard, and for this first button here, I'm going to set the background image to um, the button up button. And there it is. And you can see that the button stretches without distorting the corners, right? Um, let's do it again. So I'll do button up. I wonder if I can do all these guys at the same time. Maybe that'll save a little time there. Oh, yeah. Why don't we do them all here? Uh, you know what? I think you can only, for some reason, you can only select only the items that are under the same parent. So I can get one whole row. Um, here. Yeah, where did that background? And then, of course, now I can't select the background. You know why? Because they have different values for background. Well, I guess I'll have to do them all. Maybe I can do these three. No, I guess I can't. Let's see. Well, I'll do it. Um, oh, wait. Maybe I got to switch this from the default state there. And I guess I'll have to just do them all one by one. That's not too bad, right? And then we'll do this one. Maybe I can do all four of these because I haven't changed them. Yeah, there we go, right? And then we'll do these four. And then we'll do the one at the bottom. And this will show the re this will really will really show the effect of the slicing on the on the larger button, right? And there we go, right? Hey, so that looks pretty good, right? And I, I still have the background color in there. So if I'm if I'm using this artwork, I probably don't want the background color. So maybe I want to go in here and uh, change the background to transparent. And then maybe I'll do the same thing on this one. And this one, right? And then that's looking pretty good so far. Okay. 
And, you know, I still have the color on these views underneath here, right? So maybe, you know, if I'm using the buttons in this way, you know, transparent, maybe I want the background to also be transparent instead of having that little bit of gray right there. So maybe I'll select each of these views and I'll set the background color to the default, which is transparent. So that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, so one more thing, you know, I, I like what I have here. Oh, let, let's check it in the preview too. So let's make sure that our preview is uh, is showing well. Hey, that looks pretty good in the preview. The buttons are getting sized, right? Um, and then we can try this for different phones or even um, at this size. Oh, I guess my text is a little too big there for this for this layout, but it does work, right? Um, okay, so so one last thing. You know, I, I like what I have here, but the spacing now with this artwork is a little too tight. Like maybe I want a little bit more space than one pixel there. So we can do the same thing we did earlier where we evened up the, the spacing or the margin there by editing the, um, the constraints. So maybe what I want to do is where where um, the, you know, what is it, the trailing space. Let me actually click on just this button. Yeah, so the the trailing space, there's one pixel. Maybe I want to edit that and I want to make it, you know, like two pixels, right? And then maybe on this one, I want to do trailing space of two pixels and trailing space of two pixels, right? And then maybe this edge where the art goes right up against the edge is a little odd. So maybe I want to do the leading space of, you know, two pixels to the super view, and then maybe the trailing space to super view here to two pixels, right? And then I could work my way around the whole, you know, all the buttons in there and kind of even them up that way, okay? So there you go. And uh, let's do one last thing, right? So, and I'll just do it on the first button here, but I like the background on the button, and the spacing is looking good now. And what I want to do is in the state config for the highlighted state, I want to set the background. And you'll notice I can change the background now, right? So I want the background for the highlighted state to be um, the down button, right? So I want it to be that darker kind of gray version, right? So let's test our project. This one, we can only test this if we build it for the simulator. So, um, you know, it doesn't show in the, in the preview. So I'll build it for the simulator. And I'll build my project here. Wait for the simulator to load up. And then there's my buttons, right? And if I click on this first one, you can see it changes to the gray. It's still kind of showing transparent and there's a little bit of animation because that's the default system button behavior from iOS uh, 7 and 8, right? So if we switch this type to custom, then then it'll just switch between the two pictures without that transparency. So you can have that or you can leave it on the system. Um, one other thing to notice, you'll see here we're using the non-retina artwork, so you don't see the little tiny at 2x in the corner, but you can see here that since this is the iPhone 6, it's going to use the retina artwork and you can see the tiny little red at 2x so you can see indeed even though i have you know two sets of artwork here and i'm seeing one image here and i'm choosing the base name for the image from the menu what's happening is xcode is smart enough to see that when you have a button that is you know times two or you know on a screen that's using twice the resolution then it will use the artwork for that button right, instead of the times one button, okay? And that works by the name. So the, the names of the artwork need to be um, the original name of the file for the, for the regular artwork, and then the same file name with the suffix of at 2x on the end for the higher resolution artwork. And you can see I did that here also on button. So button up dot png, and then this other one is button up at 2x, right? Okay, so thanks for listening, um, and then we'll continue this in another video.